makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Ash with Alan Reed as the Swallow. Friends, as you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America, in offices and factories, on farms and ranches, in mines and oil fields. Folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama me. Has the one thing about the American, whatever he's a do, he's a do fast. In the morning, he's a rush to work in a subway. Later, he's a rush to lunch. Then he's a rush back to the office, a rush through his work, a rush home at 5 o'clock, a rush through his dinner in 10 minutes. <laughs> and then he's a find out he's got nothing to do for the next five hours. <laughs> That's the truth, Mamma Mia. Americans, they don't like to waste the time on anything. Over here, the biggest thing is a quick service. A busy bee lunch is a seven meal in a six a minute. You get your pants suppressed while you wait. And the last week, I read about a cemetery that's got a special price for the cheapest so people should hurry up. <laughs> but this is so different for me. I remember a little town in Castellamara. Everything is a go slow. When I'm always a milk of the cow in the morning, I must sit down at first and talk to her. I ask her how she's a feeling, if she's a slept a good night. And while I'm a talking, I must sneak out the two quarts of milk. <laughs> In America, it's altogether different. Electricity. Comes at 4 o'clock in the morning, the farmers will wake up with the cow and he's a plug it in the wall. <laughs> in a 10 minutes, she's a push out 20 quarts of milk and the cow has got the rest of the day off. That's <laughs> <laughs> a bigger business, huh, Mamma Mia? Well, maybe, maybe I'm going to change it to American ways of school. Who knows? Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm a sick coming in now, my country, my Pasquale, and if he's no big in a business, he's a big in a something. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Well, how's the business, a little banana nose? <laughs> well, that's the funny you should ask, Pasquale. I'm just thinking about that. Would it be nice if I'm had a big business and I go to the bank every week? Go to the bank? What for? To fill up your fountain pen? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know last. I'm going to be a bigger business man in some of that. From a what? Selling old antiques? That's well, you really think antiques is a bad business? No, huh? antiques is a wonderful business. If you happen to be a termite. <laughs> yeah, but Pasquale... Look, Luigi, it's not so much the business you in that accounts. It's the business of brains you got, and that's not a something you could learn. If you're lucky, you're born with a brains. You get it from your parents. That's what they call heresy. <laughs> yeah, but Pasquale, I'm not a good businessman. That's why you need an accountant. A cannon? What's it that? Well, that's a fellow who juggles around with your assets. Uh, you know, liabilities and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, Luigi, last night I had a talk with my accountant, and I'm really spreading out. I can see that. <laughs> oh, yes. Someday I might get so big, I'm going to open up another restaurant in New York. Best the spot, too. Well, where is it at, the first place? Right to the big business section on the corner of Don and the Bradstreet. <laughs> yes, I'm going to invest my money. You are? Well, it's a foolish for such a big man like me to have all his money sewed up in a mattress. You should have kept some of your blankets, huh? No, no, you boob. I should invest it in a cash. In a cash? You wouldn't understand. Hey, tell the truth, I don't even understand my accountant. You know, they're smart fellas. They all went to high school. Oh, well, uh, well let's go back to what you said about the plans. Ah, I see you paying attention. Well, you see, I got this antique store of yours for a long time. Well, if I sell it, I can get what they call a capital gain. No money, just the capital again. 
No, it's a money, but I can keep them all at taxaways. Anyway, my accountant advises I should have sell it. Yeah, but you're you asking his face to help us, Scully. <laughs> 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 Uh, Pasquale, you, you ain't really going to sell the antique shop. Now it's my time to laugh. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but uh, even if you sell it, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have to move out. Huh? I'm going to get a lease. A lease? Ha, ha, ha. Pasquale, what the man did this? Ha, ha, ha. You ever read of the smaller print to Luigi? Well, what the fuck? When I'm a first to sign the lease, after I'm going to come off of the boat from Italy, you told me smaller print was a declaration of independence. <laughs> Besides, the printer was too small to read. That's all right. You got one of them discourage leases. The printers are so small, you get discouraged from reading it. Well, uh, get a magnifier and a glass, a little cabbage you post, and look at it now. All right. Uh, my mommy, where am I put it? Oh, yeah, yeah, in the cash register. Ah, here, Edge. My mommy, I'm going to read the fine print. All I'm going to see is a dot. That's it. Here. Give me, I'll read. If the property is ever sold, the lease is automatically cancelled. Good, huh? <laughs> My counter to put that in. Yeah, but Pasquale, you can't do this, so you can't. Well, don't get excited, Luigi. Calm down. Relapse. <laughs> Maybe the new landlord is going to decide to let you stay. You already got a new landlord? Hey, that's right. And this party, I know, only likes their relatives to rent their stores. Maybe uh, you can become this new landlord's relative. Pasquale, tell me, who is the new landlord? You find out. So happens that the new landlord is waiting outside. Oh, landlord! 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 You called me, Papa! <laughs> yes, my little FHA. <laughs> well, sir, say hello to your tenant. <laughs> Hello, tenant. <laughs> Luigi, I like you should meet your new landlord. Hello, landlord. <laughs> but, well, this, this can't be the new landlord. Well, it is, and stop a gripe for sinner so much. You see, my building was in a corporation. The tax aways, if I'm a seller, Rosa, the building is still in a family, she's in a new corporation. Rosa's in a new corporation? That's all right. She's looking more like a General Motors. <laughs> Luigi, don't talk like that to you landlord. And you're going to throw me out, and that's the way you think is an honest business, huh? Luigi, I'm just following advice of my accountant. Rosa is my capital again. Mamma mia, if your capital is again another answer, she's going to bust. <laughs> One more wise quack. Are you liable to be looking into the other side of the window, Luigi? Hello, sir, please. I'm going to be your best tenant. Tomorrow is February 28th. I'm going to pay you the rent. Luigi, is a no go to with the rent. The Rosa's are renting this store only to a relative. All right, but from now on, I'm your cousin. Nothing to do, and the only kind of relative she likes is a husband. <laughs> Rosa, Rosa, you mean I'm, I'm going to marry you just to keep it a story? I'm sorry, Luigi, but business is business. <laughs> no, you can't do this. I'm going to go to my night school class right now and find out something from the damage. They're going to figure it out. All right, last, quiet, please. Oh, That's all the row. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howitt? Here. Mr. Olson? Hey, yes. Mr. Schultz? I'm here. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Schultz. Watch your diction. Huh? In a declarative sentence, you shouldn't raise your voice at the end. Uh, where then do I raise my voice? In the middle? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be enough. Now, let's get on with our lesson. Now, class, I assigned you the chapter on birds in your grammar book. Let's see how well you studied. Mr. Horowitz, will you tell us what is a verb? With pleasure. A verb shows action. Good. Give us an example. Yeah. Mary skipped, jumped, ran, and swam all day. Fine. Mr. Schultz, pick out a verb in that sentence. Uh, Mary. <laughs> what? Does Mary show action? I don't know, but if I did what she did, I would be pooped. <laughs> Don't give up so easily, Mr. Schultz. We found out that a verb is a word that shows action. Now think, what did Mary do all day? Miss Spalding, I refuse to be a peeping towel. 
Miss Ponding. Now, yet, Mr. Mr. Olson. Uh, Mr. Basco. Huh? Mr. Basco, will you tell us what word shows action? Russia. <laughs> what? Why does Rosa show action? Because she's going to throw me out of my store. Mr. Basco, are you trying to be funny? No, no, Miss Ponding. I'm not trying to be funny. Because all the mix up is so hard, it's, it's hard to explain. But if Pasquale is a seller, Rosa is a capitalist, she should again. I'm going to move because at least a maker. Pasquale is so rich, he can move to Brad Street and I'm done. <laughs> Luigi, are you for shimmer? <laughs> Mr. Basco, if, as you say, Mr. Pasquale is evicting you from your store, I think it might be a good thing, finally. He's always taking advantage of you anyway. Why don't you find another store? Sure, Luigi. You think Pasquale has got the only store in town? This is a free country. You can get any store you want. Your hobby, your opinion, and he shows some spunk. <laughs> don't you be afraid of Pasquale. Remember, you are a man and you are healthy and strong. Himmel, he talks like my draft board. <laughs> ah, we gave you the answer, Luigi. Go to some good real estate agent and he's going to find you a different store. A real estate agent, huh? Mr. Basco, I think that's very sensible advice. Take it. Yo, ho, and uh, I can give you the name of a very reputable gentleman, Luigi. He'll find you a new store in a yiffy. Oh, friends, uh, thank you for your help and advice, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to shoot Pasquale right after school and I tell him he's going to keep his store. Good. Then I'm going to tell him I am going to find another store and this is a free country. Then I'm going to say that enough, I was... Enough, Luigi, enough. By the time you get through telling Pasquale off, you're going to run into another month's rent. <laughs> uh, Pasquale... I'm the one to talk it to you. Sure, sure, little cabbage puss. Sit down. We make plans about the wedding, eh? Huh? Is there going to be no wedding? Oh, you're going to lope, huh? It's a nice, Luigi. Tonight, when I'm not to look, you pull up a ladder against the roses, the wind, they climb up, and when you come down, I promise you the whole neighborhood is going to be there to congratulate you. If I'm ever carried or sit down a ladder, the whole neighborhood will better be there to pick me up. <laughs> Luigi, I don't like this kind of joke. So remember what your new landlady has told you, marriage or else. Pasquale, I'm attacking the or else. My friends advise me I'm sure to find new stores, so I'm going to real estate agent tomorrow. Oh, so you're mixing your friends in, huh? Now the little chicken is a fly in the coop. <laughs> okay, Luigi. You just have filled out your own death certificate. I'll show you who's a who's and what's a what's. Hello. Hello, Mr. Lane. Listen, I just sold the antique shop like you was a talking. I want you should right away draw up a paper so the new landlord can serve eviction notices on a tenant to Luigi Basco. He should have been thrown out the right away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good. Goodbye. Hey, Pasquale, ain't you going to wait in a chair? Wait to nothing. I'm a true wait. And Luigi, you can start a moving your crummy antiques out right now. Hey, but please, Pasquale... Luigi, you only got a two choices. Hey, two? Yes, either you marry my Rosa or you become a my son-in-law. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that'll add enjoyment to your daily work. No matter what kind of work you do, there are times when the pressure gets heavy and you feel the strain and tension. Well, millions of people have found that chewing gum is real help at times like that. You see, chewing on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum helps relieve that feeling of pent-up tension. It gives you comfort and satisfaction that just naturally helps you feel better and work better. Besides, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum has a lively, delicious, real spearmint flavor that makes the chewing extra satisfying. So to make your daily work more enjoyable, chew healthful, refreshing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Keep some handy all the time. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm no one to marry those sister. Right away, I'm going to see a real estate agent. And if I'm a him, I'm going to see other real estate agents. Only thing I'm going to cheap was a place for $15 a month. Wasn't that bad? 
Well, who's you going to buy antiques in a subway stand? <laughs> so here I am in my antique shop, looking around for the last time, and waiting for Pasquale to throw me out. Hello, Susie. Ach, Luigi, what's the matter? Didn't you go to see that real estate agent? Wasn't you able to find anything? So, Sam, I went, I'm a dead, I'm a wasn't, and I'm a ain't a gunner. <laughs> Luigi, stop speaking shorthand. Tell me what happened. What's the use to talk? A squally is a guy, the only store in the Chicago that's a cost of $30 a month with a free spaghetti dinner. What's the good? He's always asking you to marry his big meatball. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luigi. I shouldn't choke at a time like this. I didn't think it was going to be so bad, though. That's all right, the church. No, wait, Luigi. How much money have you got? Ah, sure, sir, please. I'm uh, too proud to take the money. But don't worry, Luigi. I'm too proud to offer. <laughs> ah, Luigi, all of, all of you are so proud. Who says you got to be in the antique business anyway? My heart. Your heart. Well, listen to your stomach this time. You won't take money to keep you going. You got to eat. There's only one thing to do. Find a job. A job? Sure, lots of people have them. <laughs> you go to work, and I'll store your antiques in the back of my house. <laughs> How are you laughing? Are you making a joke? Now, what do you mean? I can't get a job. But what's going on? I'm going to I gotta store your antiques. <laughs> I got a friend, Harry Burlock. Then yeah. I got a friend, yeah. He's got a little gas station near my delicatessen. <laughs> I'm <laughs> laughing all the time. What's the matter? You know what I'm saying? And he told me, Harry Burlock, my friend, he told me yesterday that his help are quick him. So I'm going to call up Harry right now. Yeah, yeah, but, keep yeah, but should, 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 yeah. should, 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 Harry Schultz. Oh, no, God. You don't use a fella for that job. You still got it open? Yeah, but he don't know much about cars, but he learns quick. He's honest, dependable, and he's going to work hard. What's in the job? Okay, Harry. And thanks. Luigi, we did it. In a few hours, you're going to see how you make out, and then you can tell Pasquale to keep his rotten old store. Yeah, but Schultz, away. Where am I going to go? 32 North Maple Street. And hurry up, Luigi. Well, I'm going to go now. Goodbye, Schultz. You're real a friend. Ah, that's nothing to read. Oh, but, but wait. When you wait on a customer at a gas station, you always got to smile. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Smile. Be like me, Luigi. Always smiling. Always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Anything at all about cars, Mr. Basco? Well, I tell the truth to Mr. Welly. Only thing I'm gonna know about the cars is the water Pasquale to tell me when I'm a first to come to America. Don't you cross the street if you see car moving a three blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the time being, you'll just handle the pumps. When a car drives up, you just ask if they want gas, check the water, air, oil, you'll catch on. Oh, I'm a, I'm a hope so very much. You think, Mr. Welly, you think I'm, I'm a kind of lend this to gas the business? Oh, sure. You just watch what I do and you imitate. Monkey sees, monkey does. <laughs> monkey sees and monkey does. That's a good one. Right. Okay, now put on those white overalls and that little white cap and I'll start breaking in. All right. Yeah, monkey sees it, monkey does it. <laughs> Mama Mary's are like a working in a zoo. <laughs> Well, I'm a sure to grab it. Take care of it. Oh, oh all right. All right. Oh, something that we can sell you today, buddy. We got a nice, fresh gas, a fresh water, beautiful oil, and a soft the tires is a pleasure to touch. <laughs> what? Hey, look, just fill her up. Huh? Oh, sure. Fill her up. With the what? Apple. <laughs> With the who? Apple. I think you got it wrong a place, Mr. She's no worker here. <laughs> That's the comedy, Mac. Will you now look? Never mind, never mind, Basco. Uh, how many, sir? Fill her up. Apple. Yes, sir. Check his pressure, Basco. Huh? <laughs> Check his pressure. Maybe I'm a better call a doctor. Oh. <laughs> never mind, I'll do it. And for Pete's sake, watch me. All right. First, I wipe off the windshield. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, darn it, there's a customer at the other pump. You think you can take care of him, Basco? Oh, sure, the monkey sees it, and he's gonna do. <laughs> Hi, yes, sir. Hey, I said, you want to act on a winning shield, or maybe you like I'm sure to check your blood pressure. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. Five regular. A regular what? Gas. Oh, oh, sure, sure. The wife is stuff. Hmm. What's your pipe of his ears? That's funny. There's an old little bell sound. Hey, cut that out. Stop it. Huh? Something is wrong? You're pouring water into my gas tank. Oh, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Well, I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to put the extra gas into your water tank. Never mind. <laughs> Basco, come in. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, I asked you. Yeah. You. Oh. Look, isn't, isn't that a beautiful what? car? Yeah. Hi, Harry. Oh. Hello, Mr. Brown. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello. Well, how do you like her? Isn't she a beaut? Oh, and how? Best looking car I've seen. Mm-hmm. Just got nine miles on her, I see. Uh-huh. If anybody scratched a fender, I'd kill him. <laughs> we waited eight months for this baby. Eight? Oh, that's a, that's a, what do you say? A co- coincidence. What's a coincidence? I was an eight months a baby, too. <laughs> Come on, Harry. We're having a bite while the car is serviced. You sit with us and tell us how to handle it, right? Huh? Well, oh, say, you're not going to refuse us that service, are you? you got a man to take care of the car. Well, I'm hungry. Come on, let's go. Let's fill her up, boy. And the, the right windshield wiper sticks. Uh-huh. Fix it. Basco. Basco, be very careful. Uh-huh. Check the oil and water. Be very careful. Yes. Oh, yes. And be sure those new tires are exactly 26 pounds. See you in a little while. Oh, sure. 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 Mamma mia, I hope I'm going to remember everything. Fill up the oil with the water. Oh, I have got to be 26 pounds. Of stick it to one of the shield of wipers on the right to say. Mamma mia, I'm going to do a lot of work, but the car don't look so good. I'm going kind to of get a gas in the front of the hole because somebody's already put the water in it. And... Uh, these are holes on the side that they don't go nowhere. Everything is a dripping. <laughs> well, now, now the winner shield wipers. Why he wants on the right, I'm, I don't know. Hmm. How's, how's it going to stick? Maybe I get some glow in the paste on it. Yeah, maybe. Well, I, I'm asking Mr. Weatherly later. Here, yeah, let me see now. The, oh, yeah. Now the tires I'm going to took off for the car. <laughs> oh, see, he wants, uh, what he wants? Oh, yeah, he wants to shoot away 26 pounds. Well, where am I going to find a scale? <laughs> oh, here's the one in the front of the restaurant. Well, I'm going to roll over that. Ha, ah, here's the scale. Oh, where's the penny? Uh-huh, put them in a machine. Let me read. You will have a health, the prosperity, and a good year. Come on, mommy, that's a real fortune. Knows it the name of the tire. <laughs> hey, but the look is away 110 pounds. How am I going to make it 26? Well, uh, let me see. First, yeah, first I'm going to let the air out. All right, then I'm going to cut off a piece, and maybe it's too much of it. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get a knife. Well, certainly enjoyed our lunch. Well, here's your helper. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Is that our tire? Huh? Well, where's the car? Oh, no. A car! You committed suicide. I'm ruined. I'm ruined. It can't be. It can't be. I'll sue you. I'll sue everybody. I'll kill that man. <laughs> Pasquale. Luigi, look out of you. Hair all mussed up, eyes a bloodshot, face a greasy, a dirty, shirt a torn. What's happened? Pasquale Schultz is a, is a got me a job in a gas station. They gave you a job of working around the gas? 
Yes. I better go outside and see if Chicago's is still in Illinois. No, <laughs> but father, please. Please, don't throw me out of my story. The only things I'm a lover is in my antics. I'm a no good in other kind of business. I'm a tried out, but I'm a no good. Luigi, if I owned the property, you could have stayed. But it's out of my hands. Rose is the landlord, and she wants to get married. Well, my son... I give up for Papa. Hoo-hoo! That's what I like. That's what I like, a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome into the family, little pumpkin ahead. And remember, you're just a little chicken. And when you try to fly away from the coop with the try out of your wings, in the end, you've got to come home to roost. I guess you're right. But let me warn you. Next to time, this little chicken tries to fly the coop, bark, 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 he's going to wind up with a frick as he. <laughs> now, uh, about the marriage. Hello, Mr. Pasquale. Uh, hello, Mr. Lane. That's Mr. Luigi Bosco. I'm glad to say we don't have to serve him with any eviction to notice. He's a marrying to my daughter. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, then, it doesn't matter about the capital gain deal not being able to go through. Huh? Cap- what do you say? Uh, never mind. We can talk some other time. No, talk now. Well, it's simply that when I saw you were turning over your money to your daughter to buy the building, I realized the government would hold that as fraud, and you don't want that. You mean a Pasquale has got to be the landlord of the building? Yes. Pasquale, I'm free. What? Russ is no more my landlord. I'm free, Pasquale. Wait till Luigi. Let's be fair. Can we talk this over, my little chicken? Well, sure, Pasquale. Is there something I more want to say? What? Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> What the look like was it going to be very bad for me? Is it turned out not so bad? I'm back in my antique shop doing the work that I'm on a stand, and best of all, the work that I'm a love. I'm a don't want to make a lot of money like a Rockefeller, Mamma Mia, because I'm afraid the Mister Rockefellers will become a millionaire from oil. Who well, and all I'm going to say. As if he's a man at the working in a gas station, or he's a deserve it. <laughs> he's a loving son, Luigi Vasco, a little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint and Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is just about the perfect taste treat to enjoy between your meals. When you get a hankering for something good to chew on, you don't necessarily want anything rich or heavy. And a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint just fills the bill. It's chock full of delicious spearmint flavor. It's long-lasting. And the good chewing satisfies you without filling you or spoiling your appetite. So, for a between-meal treat that's good and good for you, enjoy chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Get a few packages next time you go to the store. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Vasco writes another letter to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dunham. Jay Carroll Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Tom Conrad as Soap, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Oak. Music directed by Red Bluff. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.